All right, y'all, so today we're gonna be doing one of my favorite labs. Um, it's the Molecules of Chalk Lab, but it's designed for COVID, which just means that you are going to be using my data if you're a distance learner. So it says, uh, it says chalk, right? Chalk is a compound called calcium carbonate and is composed of calcium carbon uh, and oxygen. You're going to determine how many molecules of chalk you use to write your name, Miss Moore's name, on the sidewalk. Um, okay, so the first thing we have to do is, is some planning here. Um, so uh, create a T chart showing the steps that you will need to take in order to go from grams to molecules. Okay, so I need to go from grams to molecules. Actually, let me not even draw it like this. Okay, so molecules is up here. I could have left that. Moles is right here. Liters for volume is over there. And then last but not least, I've got molar mass, which is grams over here, right? Okay, so I know that I can go back and forth I can go from moles to grams, grams to moles. I can go from molecules to moles, moles to molecules. I know that I can go from liters to moles, moles to liters. So if I need to go from grams to molecules, I can do a two-stepper here where I start here, I go to molecules, and then I, moles, excuse me, and then I go to molecules. So we're gonna go from grams to moles to molecules. Well, that is really ugly. Okay, let me go and back it up here. I'll go a little closer. Oh, oh almost dropped it. <laughs> okay, so what will this look like? If I create my T-chart, I know I'm going to start with grams, and I know I have to have grams over here. Once I go from grams, I have to go to moles. Okay, if I've got moles here, I have to have moles here. And once I go from moles, i got to go from mo to molecules. Okay, and then before I even get here, I need to calculate... Start with calculating molar mass. Calculate molar mass. Okay, so that's what I need to do. First things first, I need to calculate molar mass, and then I'm gonna do a two-step mole problem in order to get molecules, starting with grams. Okay, so first things first, I need to measure the initial mass of the piece of chalk I will, write, or I will use to write my name. Here we are. Oh, I need my, I really need more hands for this. Okay, I don't want to turn my thing off by accident. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and just go to one. All right. So I'm just going to go, oh, I've turned it off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to measure the initial mass of the chalk to write my name. Okay, so initial mass is going to be 31.7 seven grams. Okay, so 31.77 grams. Okay, and then it says go outside and write your first and last name on the cement outside the classroom. Distance learners, you will use my name. Uh, lucky you. Okay, so here, oh, well, I guess I don't need my paper right now. This is a two-person job, to be honest. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do it right here. All right, so here we go. So, Valerie Moore. Okay, so there's definitely, some of it has left it and gone on to the ground. Close that bad boy up. <laughs> okay, number two is done. Now number three, measure the final mass of the piece of chalk and record your results. So here we are, 31.27. Okay, so 31.27. Seven. Okay, so determine the amount of chalk used. You chalk used to write uh, your names. Your name. There's just one name. Valerie Moore. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and 
take this on. Let me get my calculator because Mrs. Warren needs a calculator. I'll use that one. Most of you guys have calculators that look like this. Okay. So I'll get myself set up here. God, I can't use the zoomed lens or else it will be blocked. Or the, the far away lens. Okay, so it says determine the amount of chalk used. So I'm just going to do this minus this. I'm going to say 31.77 minus 31. Point... Oh, wait, that was 27, wasn't it? Let me go to double check it. It was, I've still got my piece of chalk over there. 31.27, okay, so I think it's just 0.5. 31.77 minus 31.27 and I get 0.5. Okay, so here we are. So that's how many grams of chalk, calcium, uh, calcium carbonate it took me to write my name so how many grams of chalk did it take you to write your name um oh that's literally right here and that equals one mole when i go to uh make any final changes to this worksheet i'm probably going to take out number four <laughs> okay um chalk is composed of calcium uh, carbon and oxygen in order to find the molar mass of chalk you need to add up these mole of the masses of one calcium carbon um, one car one calcium, one carbon, and three oxygen using uh, the periodic table. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my handy dandy periodic table. If you don't have one, go ahead and get one or open up Canvas. <laughs> Okay, so uh, calcium is 40.08. You can see that. 40 point. Okay, so mass from trip periodic table is 40.08 right there. And carbon, where is it? Right there, is 12.011. And then auction, we know auction is 16.00. Okay, and then we have for calcium, we've only just we've got one of them, carbon one of them, auction, we've got three of them. Alright, come on, closer here. Like this. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna say 40.08. Plus 12.01 plus 3 times 16. Okay, and I get 100.09. If you put 100.1, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Now, okay, so uh, the molar mass of calcium carbonate is uh, right here. Okay, the molar mass. Oh, you know what? Uh, oh, this is actually not right. Again. Okay, ignore that. That's not what you want. You want this. I need to get rid of that moles for you guys. Sorry. As you can tell, this is an old an old worksheet. <sighs> it's more. All right. So, <clears throat> so our molar mass is um, right under 100 grams, and that is equal to one mole. Okay. So number seven says calculate the number of molecules it took you to write your name. So I'm going to go ahead and write down a few things that are important. Uh, the first is that I have 100.09 grams, which equals one mole. I also know that uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules equals one mole. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up like this. And we said we're going to start with grams. 
grams, grams, moles, moles, molecules. Okay, so grams, grams, moles, moles, molecules. Okay, so we start with what we know, and we know that we have 100.09 grams of calcium carbonate. Okay. Uh, oh, that's actually not right. Sorry, Ms. Moore. Wrong. That's part of our conversion factor. How many, how many grams, I apologize, how many grams of calcium carbonate do we have? It took us that many grams to write our name. So, whoops. Point five grams right there. Now, this is our equality. 100.09 is equal to one mole. And now, if we look over here, next to mole we've got one. Molecules is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You guys can go ahead and plug it in and uh, get the right answer. Now don't forget, uh, we're gonna multiply across, so we'll do this one times this one, okay, divided by that number, and put them all in parentheses. Okay, good luck.